If you're watching this video, you've already, probably already been introduced to some of the things we do as far as soft tissue work here at Rockstar Gym. If you've been with, with me in your admission, you've probably heard me compare it to brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth is maintenance for your teeth. We use them on a regular basis. Uh, so we brush our teeth and floss to maintain them. Um, so like, just like brushing and flossing are maintenance for your teeth, stretching and soft tissue work are maintenance for your muscles. So you come in the gym and you want to use those here in the gym, both outside and your, uh, doing your daily activities, you need to maintain those. So proper maintenance of your muscles, just like proper maintenance of your teeth. Okay. Starting here on the foam roller, we will typically start with the glutes and hamstrings, get that insertion point first, and then we work our way back. So come in here on the glutes, we like to open up, get one side, bring the ankle on the knee, that's going to open up this insertion point back here. We recommend 5 to 20 minutes of foam rolling before and or after your workout. Uh, we say 5 to 20, that depends on your recovery. That depends on how hard your workout was, how good your form was, how good your diet's been. Uh, now you can see I made my way onto the hamstrings. Always start here. We always go with the muscles when we roll, supporting ourselves with the back hands. Good. Now bring one leg over, typically bring this ankle in front of this knee and keeping the other ankle that's doing the rolling on the foam roller. Again, supporting ourselves with the hands. Getting our IT bands here and working the outer part of the quad. Um, from here, you can flip sides and go into the other IT band. I like to kind of do a barrel roll while I'm here on the foam roller. So you can see me going to get this quad and hip flexor. Always rolling with the muscle, never on any joints or bruises. So I'm going to make that transition to the other quad and hip flexor. Always with the muscle. We're going to go through these kind of quickly today. But as always, roll at your own pace, whatever's sore, whatever's tight, whatever muscles you know you're going to be working in the workout or have worked out hard in the workout. Good from there. Make our way to the calves. If at any point in time you ever need to go deeper into the tissue, simply give yourself more body. That's the lower body, now we'll make our way up to the upper body. Take that last rib, follow that back. That last rib and up, that's your thoracic column. Below that's your lumbar spine. We want to stay away from your lumbar on the foam roller. This thoracic column, anything with a rib attached to it, that was meant to move. That we want to be mobile. Your lumbar, that was meant to be stable. So we're going to keep that stable, stay away from the foam roll iron it. So good rule of thumb, just that last rib. So that's exactly where I'll start here. I'll just start with my arms crossed, open them up the back a little bit. Then we start to play with different arm positions. Always making sure we hit the lats. That's the meaty part of your back here. Once you get your back sufficiently, this could take anywhere between two and 10 minutes. Uh, once you roll that tissue out, the next thing we want to mobilize is this actual thoracic column here. Just a symptom of gravity we've been either sitting or standing all day long and gravity is always pulling us here. Problem is it's going to throw off anything we do with our lower body that's going to pull us forward on a squat or a deadlift. Uh, other thing that's going to do is ruin anything we try to do with our upper body. So if we're here 
it's going to be pretty hard to go up overhead or do any pushing or pulling properly. Now if we're nice and mobile and we have good thoracic mobility, we can achieve these positions that we want to achieve. So what we do when we're done mobilizing our soft tissue on the roller is do a couple extensions and rotations. So again, going back to that lower point where we started, crossing the arms across the chest. This time the hips are going to stay planted. They're not moving. Here I'm going to go back. Big extension. Come back. I like to cross my arms the other way. Just open up as big as possible. Give yourself some love before you work out. Good. I do two. You can do two to four or five. Plant the hands. Lift the hips. Slide forward. We're going to do the same thing. You want to repeat that process all the way up and down your back at least once before your workout. It's nice and upright, feeling good. Just work flexion and extension. Now we want to go to rotation. This thoracic column is a very versatile tool. We want it to be able to do what it was meant to do. So that same position, going to use my palms for leverage. I'm going to rotate, rotate. Same thing, lift the hips up, scoot down. Rotation, rotation. Good. And that's the foam roller.